Hello everybody, Tyler here. I hope you're all doing well. One of my most favorite cards in Puzzle and Dragons is Raw, and he has a new ultimate evolution. Instead of matching six colors to activate his leader skill, he now only needs five colors to activate his leader skill. So I was wondering, what's the probability of getting a six colored board versus a five colored board? I've been searching all over the internet for the answer, and I actually ran into this formula that not only answers the difference in probability between a six colored board and a five colored board, but it also applies to many other aspects of Puzzle and Dragons. The formula that answers our question is called the binomial probability formula. I've put the formula here on the screen and I'll put it in the about section just in case you'd like to work on it yourself. We have three variables to work with. First is the probability of the color appearing, which is represented by P. Let's say for example, we want to know the probability of a light orb appearing. We have six different colors available. We have red, blue, green, purple, yellow, and pink. There's a one in six chance of yellow appearing. We'll want to change this number um, just in case there's a different dungeon you'd like to do. For example, on the weekend, we don't have the possibility of matching light and dark orbs. They just don't spawn in that dungeon. That means there's only a, a one in four chance of generating, let's say, a red orb because there's only red, blue, green, and pink orbs. So that's a 1 in 4 chance. The number of orbs generating is um, the number of orbs that are going to randomly spawn you that color. I've put 30 here because let's say in our example we're barely entering a dungeon and because there are 6 columns and 5 rows that means there are 30 slots that will randomly generate our orb. And finally the number of colored orbs generated we're looking for yellow orbs, so it's going to be the number of yellow orbs generated, which is represented by K. Over here I have the numbers listed from 0 to 30. If you add all these numbers together, it equals 100%. So there's a 100% chance of your yellow orb generating from 0 to 30. Makes sense, right? Looks like the highest percentage is about 19%, and that's a 19% chance of generating five yellow orbs. Let's say in our example, we want to know what's the percent chance of us being able to at least make a match of three. So we'll highlight three, scroll all the way down. So this is the percent chance of, of uh, generating three or more light orbs on a new board. That's 89.72%. To answer our question of what's the percent chance of generating a rainbow board for our light, light, raw, well, all you have to do is take this number and multiply it into itself six times, each time representing a color. So that's red, blue, green, purple, yellow, and pink. And this equals 52.16% chance for raw to be able to activate his... Uh, his leader skill. What about the new Awoken Ra? He only needs five colors to activate his leader skill. Well, let's put in five because he only needs red, blue, green, purple, and yellow. Five colors. It jumps to 58% chance. 52 to 58 doesn't seem like much of a difference to me. There's only like a 6% chance uh, when you eliminate a color. But let's say that you want to know the percent chance of one of your Chinese gods, let's say Haku. Haku is extremely popular Chinese god and she needs what? Red, blue, and purple orbs to activate her leader skill. Well, all I have to do is take this to the third power. I mean, you're making at least a match or more, and that's an 89% chance. You take this to the third power, and that's a 72.2% chance of activating her leader skill. There are also leader skills that activate, that are orb specific and they activate with four different colors. These include uh, Sakuya, Umisachi, Yamasachi, Durga, and Kali. Kali. Well, they require four colors. When you uh, barely enter a dungeon or refresh the whole board, there's a 64.8% chance of activating their leader skill. Not only does binomial probability formula work for leader skills, but it also works for active skills. Let's say you're um, playing with your favorite card in the world, it's the most common one, Sonya. And you want to know the probability of generating mm, 17 or more 
fire orbs because you have a mono fire team with your Sonya, your red Sonya. Well, Sonya has a 50% chance of generating either a fire orb or a dark orb, a red or a purple one. 50% chance. The number of orbs generating is 30 because we're changing all the colors on the board. Well, it looks like we have pretty high percentages for 13 to 17. You know, it's a 63% chance of getting between 13 and 17. Uh, we wanted 18 or more, right? I think that's what I said. Well, what's a percent chance of that? Looks like it's 18.8%. Uh, you can see it with this number down here, but we'll sum it all up so you can all see. 18.8% chance. It's pretty cool. Let's analyze another active. Let's say Haku. When I play Haku, it's usually a mono dark team, and when I use her active, I want to know how many purple orbs am I generating. Um, so she can generate blue orbs, red orbs, or purple orbs. She has a 1 in 3 chance of generating a purple orb. Once again, we're generating 30 orbs because we're changing the whole board. And it looks like uh, the most common number of purple orbs will be 10, which makes which makes sense, it's about a third of it. Um, what about 10 or more? What's the percent chance of that? The sum has a 56.83% chance of producing 10 or more, more purple orbs. Pretty sweet. Binomial probability formula also works with stalling. When we play our Pandora and we have six purple orbs on the board, in order to do her maximum um, multiplier, which is four, we need to link eight orbs on the board to do that four multiplier. How many orbs do we need to eliminate to give us a good chance of generating two more purple orbs? To go from six purple orbs on the board to eight purple orbs on the board. Well, if we're in a normal dungeon, we have a one in six chance of producing a purple orb, and then, um, Let's say we eliminate three orbs. We just eliminate, you know, three heart orbs and we stall. What's the percent chance of generating two or more purple orbs? Looks like, uh, you know, the total is about 7.4%. That doesn't seem like a very good chance. I mean, we even have a 57.87% chance, chance of not even generating a purple orb. So let's let's do two combos. Let's stall, eliminate, you know, a match of pink and a match of uh, reds. And we want to make, you know, two or more purple orbs. It's a 26.3% chance of doing that. You know, there's a third of a chance of not even producing a purple orb at all. So I'm going to try to eliminate three sets of colors. I mean, we don't need red, we don't need uh, pink, and we don't need blue. What's the percent chance of that? When we add all this together, there's a 45.7% chance of generating two or more purple orbs. Eh, that's not too bad, but I mean, if you take it up another notch and all add all this together, it's a 61.8% chance. So you can really uh, improve your odds of generating two more purple orbs the more orbs you eliminate, but you can you know, really see what the percentages are with the binomial probability formula. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, send me a like, or if you'd like to subscribe, I don't know where they put the subscribe button nowadays. I think it's here. It used to be here. Or you can just click on the subscribe button there. So I wanna thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for subscribing, and I'm looking forward to releasing more videos for you guys.